Welcome to the Fabric Podcast, where we explore company culture and how it scales as a company grows. Brought to you by the team at The Receptionist, a bootstrapped Denver-based software company. Each episode of Fabric will set out to uncover unique and uncommon answers to the question, how do companies of any size create a culture and core values that employees actually live out? On this episode of the podcast, we're excited to be joined by one of our newest team members, Eduardo Campos, Accounts Receivables Specialist. Eduardo talks to us about his position and what it was like to start in a role that was brand new for our company. He also shares what it's been like to work collaboratively with CFO Share, our fractional CFO company, and we discuss his experience joining the receptionist with a company culture unlike anything he thought actually existed in business. He also gives his tips for anyone taking on a first-time role at a company. Enjoy the episode. All right. Well, I am so excited to have a brand new guest on our show, a new team member, Eduardo. Welcome to the podcast. Hi, Sarah. Thank you so much. I'm super excited uh, to be here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. We're going to learn more about you and what you've been up to. But since you are new to the show and newer to the company, give us a little bit of a background on you. All right. Um, So... I was born here in Denver, um, and then I moved back to Guatemala, and I grew up all my life in Guatemala. I did live in Minnesota for two years, and then I finished middle school there. Then I moved back to Guatemala, finished high school, college, and then um, I joined my last year of college, and before moving to the U.S., uh, I was working at a, at a logistics company. Um, that that works in all Central America and then I got a a great opportunity to to move to the U.S. for for a new job and it was very funny because it it's it's a public entity that works with the Guatemalan community so it was really cool to get that opportunity to move back to Denver where I was born but being able to serve back to the Guatemalan community so about two and a half years ago, I moved to Denver, and it's been a crazy and fun ride. Yeah, and I love that. It's a nice full circle that you were born in Denver, you left, you spent most of your life in Guatemala, but you come back to Denver, you're able to continue to work with and serve your, the community there. So that's pretty amazing. Now, before we get into your role here at The Receptionist, what was it that made you interested in working here when you saw the job posting? Yeah, that's that's a really good question. Um, so so one day I was just you know scrolling through Indeed trying to uh, look for for jobs, and when I was reading through the application job post, it was as if the post was written for me, and that caught my attention. So I started doing a bunch of research on the company, and I came to this podcast too, uh, and I, I saw a lot of them, and and that really got me super excited and aside from the job posting and the great opportunity to take on a new role what really got my attention was seeing and reading how much the company cares about their employees and the culture that that they had that was something that i never even thought it existed in a workplace and it really got me interested in working here and since the very, very, very first interview with Lila, it's something that I lived with and I was hooked and I knew I wanted to work here. Yeah, that's great. And I think what people start to see is it's not just, you know, what we say on the website is the culture, but then you get here and it's it's really who we are. So that's awesome. Now, you said you took on a new role. So tell us what you're actually doing here. All right. Um, so my role is the accounts receivable specialist. As most of our viewer knows, uh, Andy also, our CEO, uh, wanted someone to join the, the receptionist and take on this new role and own everything billing related um, and really just focus on all of that. And that's that's what I'm doing here. Yeah. And, and what has it been like to actually carve out that new role? Because it's one thing for a, a CEO to say, we want you to do this and you own it, but then actually going ahead and doing that. What's it been like for you? Yeah, that's been a lot of fun. It's it's definitely been challenging, but it is super rewarding. And there are so many things that I could just talk about and could go for hours. 
about, you know, carving out a new role. But really the main things I would say is here at the reception is we are heard and everything that I've, every idea or, or something that I want to do, they let me do it. And, and that lets, that lets me feel very accomplished when I get to do something. I get to new, you know, I get to put on my ideas and set new processes and take them into action, really, not just, you know, sometimes when you go to a new role, you try to bring everything that you can, give out new ideas, and they kind of stop you or they don't let you do them or pursue them. And and that has been something that's been really great in, in carving this new role and also being backed by an amazing team that they're they're always there to help me. Any questions or even if I need to jump on a quick call to better understand something, they're always there to help. Um, and I think those are key components to carving out a new role. And then, you know, as I said, it's it it hasn't been easy, but it has definitely made me feel very accomplished uh, because of all the resources that we have here at the receptionist and and the flexibility that they give us. It also makes me want to work harder and, you know, uh, be accountable for everything that I do. Absolutely. And you're also, you've been working with CFO Share, who we've talked a bit about on the podcast from time to time. So can you tell us more about kind of what you're doing with them and and what that's looking like? Yeah, for sure. Uh, this is going to sound like a repetitive answer, but it, it really is. We we leave our, our culture every day and working with, with CFO Share has been a lot of fun and definitely very collaborative. They are, they, they are very collaborative in everything that we do on a day-to-day basis, but also in our monthly basis. And it's been a delight to work with them. They are such an easygoing team and they're always ready to help. Let me give you a couple examples of this. Uh, at the very beginning, when I started here, I got a lot of training from CFO Share on all my own onboarding process, and they were not hesitant on sharing all the information and letting me know everything that I needed to know to take on that role. And even when I was transitioning from their training to doing it myself, I got shadowed by them by maybe a couple weeks, three weeks. We did the job together. We jumped on a, on a Zoom call. And I was doing the job, but they were shadowing me. So that, that having that at, as a as as a team was was really helpful. And then another thing, you know, here at the reception is we have our fabric days, and one of our great benefits is that we have unlimited PTO. So every time that I want to take on my fabric day or a PTO day, you know, it's very hard to find that reli- reliability of having someone taking care of your of, of of your role. Yeah. Especially when, when you own it, when they say you own it, Eduardo, you take it, it can feel yep. very hard. I'm sure to be like, but can I leave? <laughs> Correct. Yeah. I so can't go it, anywhere it, now. Yeah. It's, it's very difficult to, you know, let it go, but having CFO share there for us, it's really great because they really take on everything that needs to be done. And since they were helping us before, they know how to do it perfectly. And then also it's on, on, on our day-to-day basis, they also help us a lot. We have a CFO share bi-weekly meeting uh, where we touch on anything that needs to be worked on. And then on my day-to-day basis, maybe once or twice a week, I'm talking to them, we're jumping on meetings because sometimes we have uh, some crazy billing requests that come our way. And even though we work on separate things every day, Anything that I do or anything that they do can affect my job since we're all in the finance space. So we we get to work with them a lot. And it's been it's been a great, a great ride working with CFO Share. Yeah. And I really like how you laid out for our listeners how we went from having CFO Share to bringing you in to you kind of owning that, but how you still work really collaboratively together. Now, for any of our listeners who may be taking on a new role within a company one that hasn't existed before, what advice or tips do you have? Yeah, that's that's a really good question. I don't think there's like a universal answer to it, uh, but there are definitely key components 
uh, when taking a new role that are, are going to help out. Um, so first, I would say, listen and understand. And by that, I mean, you know, listening to what the company needs and understanding what they need for this new role. Uh, I'm going to really dig deep into identifying and learning what the goals are for this new role. And then I would say, you know, learning the logistics and processes that the company has set, maybe for a past role, or if it's a complete new role, uh, try to get involved as much as possible into everything that you can um, in order to get the, to get, uh, to know the company from its core uh, and, and everyone on the team as well. I would also say that you need to take time and analyze all the information that you gathered and create a plan of action to where you want to take this role and where you see yourself and the company going on this new role forward. And then finally, I would just say, you know, taking everything to action. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. That's something that was really interesting for me because, you know, when you make a mistake and you're new, you, you don't want to be the person that comes in and, and screw something up. So don't be afraid to make mistakes. That's part of, a, of the learning opportunity and, and taking on a new role. Uh, and then try to see problems and pain points as, as a challenge rather than a problem. Right. Well, and I think you, you saw about our company culture as you got, you know, went through the process of applying. And then as you were here, it's really a safe space to do those things that you said, like to, to learn and to try things and to possibly make mistakes um, that you really have kind of that, that environment where it's safe to do all of those things. Yeah, that's so true. Now, as a newer employee, what have you learned or experienced about our company culture that you'd like to see companies do more of? Oh, I, I it's so <laughs> funny, this question. I, I, I just love it. It's, it's a nonstop for me when everyone asks me about, uh, you know, what's my experience on this company? It's been great. It's, it's been so much fun. And as I said before, I never even thought that a company like this existed where you could be yourself have fun and work. Uh, so the, the, the first thing I would mention is the company culture. They really let you know that we have a very strong culture. And sometimes they tell you that, but it's actually not true once you go in. And for the receptionist, that has been something that I lived since my first day. And it's, it's just... Every time I get to go online and work, it feels like I'm being gifted something because it's just super fun to work here. And, you know, this, this comes with a lot of work from our leadership team. They've had a bunch of meetings and they dedicated a lot of time to fulfill the, the company's just cause. And I would love for companies to really take care of their employees and take the time to create a culture and actually work on making the culture an everyday thing, not just having a culture, a culture, because you can have it, but they maybe don't really pursue for their employees to, to have that culture in their everyday life. Um, and, and I think that's something very important. Well, it's been really great, Eduardo, getting to have you on the podcast and letting our listeners learn more about you. So thank you so much for sharing about your experience so far. And we look forward to having you back on again. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for listening to today's episode. If you'd like to see a recording of the conversation with Eduardo, please visit us at thereceptionist.com.